And now, from the musical center of the universe, Katati, California, it's Zone TV, with acoustic Celtic band Spiral Bound, the traditional Brazilian music and martial arts of Copoeira, and a special performance by Joanne Rand with Steve Kimock and Bobby Vega. Now, from Zone Music in Katati, here's your host, Frank Hayhurst. Welcome to Zone TV. Hey, we're hanging out in the control room at Studio E. We don't take it that seriously, but it's still a control room, you know what I mean? Sonoma County Independent took a poll of its readers and they came up with the very best acoustic act in the North Bay area. You're about to hear them right now. They're extremely sweet. They're really a nice band. Here is Spiral Bound.
Here we are at Zone Music in Katati. Look at all these guitars. Look at all these people. And look at all these Korg keyboards. You gotta hear these great sounding synthesizers. And here's Tim Haggerty playing the new amazing Korg Trinity Music Workstation. Hi, Frank. We've got PAs, microphones, keyboards, computer software. But you better get down here before these people buy everything. Oh, did I mention this was all at Zone Music in Katati? Man, I'm jealous too. This band has the best name I've ever heard. This is Spiral Bound that we're hanging out with. Hey, this is Matt. Hey, Matt, this is really a really happening project that you have. It Thank really you much. is. It's not. Um, it, it's funny. It's really like forward-reaching music, and it's really pretty exciting. The project that you've got going. But, yeah, well, let's meet everybody in the band. <laughs> okay. Well, on um, the fiddle we have Terry Angelette. Karana Payton is singing and playing percussion for us. Dave Perkins on the guitar. Yeah, Dave. Howdy. Wiley Woods on the mandolin, and George Cromachi is our bass player. Yeah, he's out stuck underneath his bass, otherwise we'd have him in here too. <laughs> That's right. My, my name is Matt Greenhill, and I play the the mandola and the octave mandolin as well as sing. Yeah, no, that's a real nice blend between the two of you guys that you have happening. Um, do you rehearse? Do you do you work out material? It because your your music is extremely intricate, which well, I really we've like. We've been known to rehearse from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> Rarely. <laughs> Our main rehearsals are basically places where we go and we get free beer and dinner, and then we play there for that. Tips well, usually. well, you guys toured France, right? I mean, oh, as yeah. a, so I mean, if you do that, that was a great it, rehearsal. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a it's pretty like happy. Yeah. Yeah. So I know your while your your um, influences are heavy metal, of course, well, and you can hear it in your playing, yeah. but. Dave, uh, the Hendrix influence does come through. Yeah, some Hendrix, some punk rock, and a lot of the early psychedelia. And yeah, and Corona, you've been singing in the county for years, but usually your stuff is like, I've, I've heard you do wild electronic things, and this is yeah. actually you're really singing, yeah. which I love. It yeah. sounds great. Yeah, Dave, jam with Dave. That's a that's a good <laughs> place to start. We just got together, and then we performed the next day, I think. So wow, immediate, immediate band. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I like this. This is like combustion. yeah, this is spontaneous yeah. combustion. Yeah. It's totally. a band. <laughs> and water. Here's Spiral Bound. <laughs> We can go. 
she jumped watching looks awesome doesn't it it just just seeing it makes me want to start rolling my r's <laughs> this is a brazilian art form dance form martial arts form it's a very complex thing that doesn't translate well into art culture but boy we trans translate well right into it this is bira that we're talking with and he is a master of the the art form it's called and we're gonna all learn how to say this together okay everybody now watch us capiera Capoeira. Capoeira. Yeah. Not too many r's, but capoeira. Capoeira. Well, it sounds beautiful, and it looks beautiful, and you teach it. Well, I have been teaching capoeira for a long time. It's a, it's a passion, because capoeira, for me, is the bread of every day. It's a way of life. So you're here in Northern California teaching? Yes. I came here about uh, 18 years ago and introduced the capoeira in this part of the country. And now I'm teaching Berkeley. I opened a new school that's a capoeira cultural center in Berkeley. That's 2026 Berkeley. It's growing fast too, and it the is. interest in what you do is. is growing. It is. And the capoeira goes beyond one person. So I do not represent capoeira, but I'm right. thrilling with the opportunity to to be teaching capoeira here. I have been teaching since 1959, and uh, the Americans are doing great. Capoeira is very important for many of us. It's a traditional art form, has been around for hundreds of years, has been involved throughout the times, has different 
é, fez capoeira essa self defense essa way of express themselves and cry for freedom and capoeira has many elements you have in, included in capoeira the dialogue the self expression the artistic creation and the integration of the people ritualize the combat Uh, fighting elements, storytelling, so it's a very complex art. Capoeira is complex physically, but everybody can learn and begin the movement, but it's a, it's a large subject. It manifests itself like a dialogue. Each movement is a word. Uh -huh. We want to establish a conversation with your partner, your opponent, and uh, You do not only know the grammar in that case, you need to be able to express an idea, you need to be able to interact, you need to be able to have a dialogue. Oh, it's so beautiful. And to establish that requires some disciplined training so you are able to use your body properly. Nowadays in Brazil, we have about one million people doing capoeira from north to south and the It goes beyond to be young, to be old, to be woman, to be men, to be black, to be white. It's a very encompassing art form that pulls you into yourself and uh, helps you to perhaps cope to the treacheries of everyday life. Every day that you step in the roda, roda is the ring, the village. The village around. ring, I love it. Every day that you step in that, you are challenging yourself, you are expanding your uh, potentialities, you are putting, you are going farther than you went before. When you talk about capoeira, we cannot classify exclusively as a martial art or as a dance form or as a philosophical system, because mm. all those elements are present in capoeira. Right. And the way the capoeira um, Wait a minute, don't you love this guy? <laughs> hey, listen, this is, man, you teach in Berkeley. Do you teach the singing? Uh, we, you have a CD. He has a CD that's out. You ought to look for this. We'll post all this stuff. You'll be able to find all this on the um, studioe.com, studioemusic.com website. Also, Peter has a book. This is really neat. You can talk to me at Zone Music. If you want to know more about how to reach him, come see me, because this guy is great. <laughs>
Hey, reading the Sonoma County Independent. This is the best arts and entertainment coverage in the North Bay area. You know, I love this paper. You ought to check it out. It comes out every Thursday. There's also the um, Pacific Sun, which is a real good paper. And one of the things that these local papers do um, is they cover the local music scene and local musicians. And I swear, the, the caliber of musicianship is so superb that you can see people that are as good as you can get on planet Earth right down at a neighborhood bar. I recommend that you support local music. Check out these papers because they're always showcasing it. Speaking of that, this is a, uh, Kenny, check this out. This is, a, this is from the Sebastopol Times. This is Sonoma West section. See there, that's our last show on it. Yeah, got that. It's really great the kind of coverage we get, and I think that we're getting coverage for Zone TV because we're covering local things that are going on and local musicianship, and it's sort of a neat little package where the community starts reflecting on itself like we're doing. Speaking of that, it's important to do that because there's a war going on right now. There's a war between the great big box merchants who don't have uh, any service or any support for you as a consumer, but they do have good discount prices, and small operators, people like Zone Music and a lot of the stores that are in the NorCal Music Coalition, stores like Bananas at Large and Leo's and Hate ashbury Music and Gelb and so on. What we did as a group is we got together and we said, we're going to work together, we're going to provide high quality service, we're going to provide really professional salespeople, we're really going to provide the kind of businesses that we love being a part of, and we're going to, we're going to pool our resources and buy better as a group so that we can bring you the discount. So this is the fight that we have in the war. But I'll tell you other things that you can do besides coming to businesses like ours. Support your local record store. I mean, if you got a, if you got some bucks in your pocket, you're going to buy some music. Go to a little shop. Go to the Music Coop. Go to Last Record Store. Go to Backdoor CD and Tape. Go to your local shop. I mean, these big places too. People work there, I know, but it's the chains versus the local uh, cultures, and I recommend you support the support the local culture. Another place where this is true is go support your local musicians. Go hear live music. We had a band play here last night that we're still kind of cruising on. Um, it's sort of, um, I don't want to tease you about this, but I'm going to tell you that we're going to do a special on it. This was a performance that featured Steve Kimmock and Bobby Vega, or, you know, our two heroes here, and then Alan, Hard, uh, Alan Hertz, who is one of the hottest young drummers in the North Bay Area. He's and only 24. He's right? 24 years old, okay? <laughs> so he's not that young, you know? <laughs> and then also uh, Ray White, who is a singer who played with Frank Zappa and a guitar player, and quite a singer, too, by the way. Two programs ago, we did a program that featured Joanne Rand. We never we got a landslide of requests for more of it. We played one song, and I had no idea that people loved this girl so much. We're going to play a little bit more. It's Bobby on bass and Stevie on guitar and Joanne Rand. Uh, thanks for watching Zone TV. It was a gas beam with you tonight. Here is Joanne Rand. I have been absolutely terrified Every moment of my life And I never let it keep me from doing a single thing that I like Just let me be free from this credo of mine And let me be bound to deliver her the next one down the line the last song I'm ever gonna write This is the last song I'm ever gonna write Georgia, I wanted to be just like you I wanted to spin the world around I wanted to be strength and freedom too Fill the world with sound Something is changing in me Biology bends my will Nothing is quite as terrifying As just holding still This is the last song I'm ever gonna write the last song I'm ever gonna write This is the last song I'm ever gonna write Who am I 
Song I'm ever gonna write. This is the last song I'm ever gonna write. This is the last song I'm ever gonna write. 